I'm taking a shower in uh, quite a while. <laughs> See, it's very hard to take a shower. It's like <laughs> it's like uh, I don't know. It just feels like too much work, and it's. So I've been struggling to take a shower. Uh, as you can see, my hair is very messed up. Um, grooming and... Uh, <laughs> I just... I'm not asking for pity because I don't, don't get a shower, but it's not like a symptom. I just mention it because it's a fact. And that's why sometimes you know I don't wanna make videos because I look like this. <laughs> that's that's probably one of the big reasons that I don't make videos is like because I don't take care of the way I look. Should I be worried about the way I look? But look at my videos, they're like <laughs> they're not very professional, aren't they? very uh, unprofessional and I'm not usually very uh, camped or whatever is that a bit vain? that sounds like vanity yes. I, 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 am, I have a bit of uh, yeah, that's, I feel ashamed of it it's, it's vanity 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 anyway so so, I don't know, the past week or so, or maybe a few days, I've been thinking about, uh, um, you know, I, I, you know how last year I, I uh, applied for this university program and I, and I got in, it was like a Bachelor of Engineering and um, it was an Electrical Engineering and I did like one course in uh, Term 3 last year. It was on computing, like introduction, and I got like, I think it was 70 out of 100, it's like a credit, and you know, frankly for the exam, like uh, the first half of the course I did a lot of work, but the second half I really didn't do <laughs> do much work, um, because the Call of, this Call of Duty game was released and I just kept on like playing it. Uh, you know, Vanguard, Call of Duty, Vanguard. I still play it. I don't know me. I don't know why I I got so like obsessed with playing that game, and I sort of didn't uh, spend a lot of time on the coursework. I mean, was that like me trying to deal with the stress of the coursework by sort of uh, playing the game or something? I don't know. Anyway, I finished it, so, you know, credit, it's alright, I mean, you know, it's pretty good, you know, I think, I mean, you know, I guess I could have done a little bit better, but, you know, it's alright. So, but then, uh, the next year, this year, 2022, I think the, I don't know, when did the university, I think it started sometime in February, I don't know which, which, uh, it started sometime, I don't know, maybe March or February. Like, I did like, I, in the first week, I went to the, you know, um, yeah, I, 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 you know, online one, one, uh, one day, sorry, when I, you know, I, I, when, I, when I did my course, I, I applied for this equitable learning thing where, they provide like um, adjustments if you have like some uh, disability or uh, you know health or whatever you know so so th that helped me like they gave me extensions for some of my coursework and so I applied for the same thing here uh, like you know time extensions and uh... anyway after the first week of that thing I sort of, I just sort of um, I destroyed it. I withdrew from the course, so I quit it. Yeah, so I, I withdrew from the degree, and yeah, and then I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I <laughs> I applied again, 
But this time I was like, you know what, I want to study like, um, uh, you know, like, uh, cells, like, you know, you know, you know how the life began with the cell, uh, you know, biology and things like that. So, so I got interested in that. I think, oh, you know, I want to know how life evolved on this planet, you know, the single cell, how did that come, any other... So I, I found that very interesting and I thought, you know what, maybe I will, um, you know, apply to study, study in like science or something. And so I, I submitted an application, you know, to the UAC, it's called the U University's Admissions Center, I think it's called. And yeah, so um, so I chose these science things. And I thought that you know what, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could do research, or you know, in, in cells, like molecular, or whatever it is, like cell biology. You know, just do the look at the DNA and <laughs> the DNA molecule. <laughs> uh, so I thought I'll study that. Um, yeah, so I, I thought I'll study the DNA molecule. <laughs> And and then you know I started seeing videos on that and oh then I then I then I came across uh, came across these videos on like um like medicine because maybe it's related or something and I started started seeing videos on that I'm thinking should I actually apply for this I mean do I I mean do I you you know so so then I thought, then I thought well, why don't I apply for like um you know, to do, to, to do medicine. It's like, why didn't, why didn't I apply for it? I'm like, uh, hmm, you know, maybe. So, uh, so I've been doing some research into that and um, apparently it's very competitive <laughs> to get into like a medicine program. It's like, you've got to do this kind of like, uh, Clinical admissions tests, like there, there are two tests. If you're undergrad, you you, you do this UCAT. It's called a un, undergraduate clinical admissions test. Or and if you're like a graduate, you do was you do something called like GAMSTAT, which is graduate something. It's, it's similar, but it's for um, people who have graduated. So um, so I mean so. <laughs> So that's what I've been doing. I've been sort of. Uh, uh, then I've also been seeing videos because I'm 43, so I'm thinking, am I too old to go to like medical school? And then then I was googling, old, <laughs> how old is, uh, you know, too old? And there are actually videos on YouTube like how old is too old to go to med school? And it's like. Apparently there was this lady who was like 56 and she's, she's uh, doing a school and there was this other person who was like 49 and some of the 30s and 40s. Oh, so I thought, oh, so I guess I'm not too old. Uh, to, so that, that sort of helped things a little bit. Um, so apparently like, uh, you know, I've got a bachelor's degree, right? So um, you can apply as a graduate, like there's a graduate entry medical uh, programs. But for that, I think the, 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 the degree has to be within the last 10 years. And mine is like, I graduated in 2011, so it's like more than 10 years. So um, I guess you could still try and they might give you an exemption, but you have to sit for that test and you got to prepare for that test and uh, it seems very difficult uh, <laughs> so um, so at the moment like 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 today uh, June 2nd it's like uh, today's the, like last day to change your preferences like like um, Today is June second. On June nine, they will release like uh, if if I you know off offers, first round offers will be released. There'll also be a second round. Um, so I've been like sort of changing which which one do I want to do? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? So um, because uh, so I chose like uh, 
so the way I'm trying it is like I don't uh yeah I do, the, my strategy now is to actually do like a three year like an undergrad with, with sort of medical or science uh, specializations and so I've chosen those kinds of subjects like three years um, but my understanding is that if I did not complete three years full-time if I even completed one year I can still apply to some anyway, anyway um, so that's what I'm doing I'm sort of trying to do a three-year undergrad and uh, trying to get into medicine from that I mean, this is funny it's not like I've I've like um, you know I've always wanted to be a doctor or <laughs> it's, it's not like that at all it's like I I think the, the thing I can say is I never thought it was, it was an option for me because I don't know if I, I don't think it was like good enough <laughs> or something um, yeah I didn't think that like I never thought it was an option and I had the opportunity to do it and um, you know so uh, you know for some of these medical programs it's common will support it so the government play, pays for the most of it and, and I have to play, uh, pay a little mod which like which can be deferred uh, but I'm thinking maybe I'll uh, anyway do some upfront payment for as far as the fees goes let me give you an example all right if if you want to pay full fee for um let's say in uh you know Macquarie University it has a um a medical program and the full fee for that is like three hundred and thirty thousand dollars for four years but um let's say that's sort of like the comparison amount but if I was doing like this commonwealth so supported thing like you would only have to pay like 40 grand and uh, out of the 350 or whatever so um, <laughs> oh man that's a lot of money <laughs> uh, um, so so I'm thinking I mean, if if I do like get into the um, the UNSW, I'll probably have. They're very strict because they they want you to like do eight subjects in a year. You know, you can't do part time. You have to do it like uh, because they want to know if you can actually study at this high level. And uh, so I'm not sure if I can do it. I mean. Uh, because uh, <laughs> I, just, I don't know if I have the because um, it's going to be hard to focus and uh, you know maybe I've got to build up or something I mean I'm going to do it I'm going to apply for it and I'm going to do it I'm, this is what I'm going to do so uh, yeah mm. So I was thinking to myself, uh, anyway, <sighs> I don't know what to say now. Oh. Hmm. Yes, uh, my room. <laughs> oh man, oh, I got I got her. I gotta start taking care of myself. Take a shower. Uh, eat properly, and uh, clean my room. <laughs> clean my room. But I have been seeing like a psychosocial coach uh, regularly for for a few months now, and I've also started. Uh, had an, I had an appointment with a psychologist a few weeks ago and I'm gonna have another one so I have been I have been regularly seeing a psychosocial coach and 
you know, I haven't left the house in months, but um, I'm trying to prep myself because uh, if I if I get into these thing these courses and I have to leave the house and I have to make myself do those things. Sometimes I feel like, oh, you know, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of depressing not not doing anything. <laughs> so I thought, why don't I do something? Why? I mean, I, oh, instead of sitting here and, and just watching YouTube videos and, uh, you know, watching the <laughs> Telegram or Twitch, I've been mostly watching YouTube now. I haven't been watching Twitch much because I've been following the Ukraine conflict. So, uh, yeah, uh, so. <sighs> anyway, so, uh, so this is what I'm thinking of doing. I am currently applying to study medicine or something. Um, what if we don't get in? What if I don't get in? I feel, I feel like, my, I don't know, I feel like even if I don't get in, I'll still try. Because uh, I feel like I do something I want to do to prove something to myself, like... No, I don't know why. It's like it's not like I got one single reason. This is why I want to do it. I got. I guess I got lots of reasons or uh, a feeling. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> why do people want to do it? Do people want to do it because they want to? Uh, do people want to do it if they want because they want to like uh, what was I thinking of? Um, because because they want to help society they want to help people or do they want to do it for reasons other than that uh, I was thinking to myself and I feel like for, if I was going to be honest, I feel like the reason I want to do it is because I want to prove something to myself <laughs> and um, be like, hey, yeah, this is, this, look at me, I got this, I'm a doctor now, look at me, I, <laughs> I achieved something, see, I achieved something, I'm not a, a failure, I am not a... But then, but I don't like dealing with people. Uh, people irritate me. I find it really difficult. But, but, but the thing is, like, when you do this, you have to go do, do these interviews, and they they want people who are like uh, <laughs> who want to be around. I don't know what they're looking for. Maybe they're... that's one. Of, that's another thing. You know, it's like. Like, I want to be true to myself, and, you know, it's, I find it very difficult to deal with people. I think I want to say that. I don't want to be like, oh, yes, I can, I, you know, uh, I don't want to have prepared answers, you know. I, I want to, like, be true to who I am. What I feel like if, you know, I feel like what I can do is I can... Uh, contribute to like I, I feel like I am conscientious so even though like I might not be good at making people feel at ease I can actually do the work required to help them you know what I mean like I might not be the most, maybe I'm being too hard on myself, maybe I'm actually more, more better 
then I maybe I'm better than I think I am not because I haven't really had a lot of experience I've mostly withdrawn so just because I haven't had experience doing that kind of interaction doesn't mean I'm bad at it because but anyway the point is I, I want to like <sighs> I feel like I, I can, you know, I feel like I can do this. I feel like I can do this. I feel like I can do this. Um, yes, I've been doubting myself. I mean, when I say I feel like I can do it, that's because I've been, I doubt myself a lot. But even though I doubt myself a lot, it's like after you like keep on doubting yourself and comparing yourself to others, when you're in that sort of low, low place you sort of come out of it and say yes i can do this so so i'm doubting myself i'm in this kind of place like oh what, is, what am i doing i mean, I mean you know i'm, I'm in that uh, you know self-doubt place I'll, I'll be there for a while I'll be, I'll, I'll be like stressing and not feeling too good but then after a while i'll just come out it's like <laughs> It's like the phoenix rises from the grave and then you go, I can do this. You see how, how that's different? Now if I was just saying, I'm, oh yeah, I can do it, no problem. That's, that's sort of like, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you actually go down into the doubt and into the, uh, you know, this kind of uh, worry and uh, all of that stuff so you, you to the point where you're saying I don't want to I can't do it this isn't, I should I shouldn't even try and what am I doing so if when you're in that kind of place where you feel like you know you're so you like it you're in that kind of doubt place to come out of that and say yes I can do it uh, that is actually a different kind of confidence that is sort of like, I feel like that is a more internal, strong confidence, belief. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I thought I'd make a video. <laughs>